Welcome back, y'all royals. What you see here is two pictures proclaiming uh, one's believing to be the same person, but one is white, one is black. So the question that um, you want to ask yourself is why is the white Jesus false, but the black Jesus is true? When all we did was change his color and his name, but kept the same story, the same scriptures. Okay, so we need to rid ourselves of idols and um, let go of Christianity completely. What you're going to find also um, in this video, the posts, um, I have two different accounts of um, one was I had a dream and coming out of the dream, I heard the name Josiah. I recall uh, the name being a king, but I didn't understand much about him. So I went to review and when I did, he was the last righteous king that he had thrown down the false gods, idols of the land and they started keeping the commandments, the laws and statutes as they should after the book of Moses was found and he saw that he was in error. So he brought forth back all the righteous acts of the land. And um, this, I believe, was given to me because I was seeking the most high to understand more about the Messiah that the world has given us. OK, and in that that speaks volume because um, regardless if, you know, you change the picture, make them black, but you still keep those same scriptures. You have to look um, really deep, you know, deeper um, below the surface to understand that um, all of that equates to motives from our enemies and through the um, the direction and the guidance of the most high um, through the Holy Spirit, I was brought forth more, you know, information to give me um, understanding. That's why I stand bold in what I say when it comes to the Messiah that the world has given, whether you made him black or white. We always had messiahs in each captivity when you go back and you really look to understand that it only means anointed one. Also, you're going to see about, um, I also was seeking the Messiah about uh, along the lines of Trinity, about saying Jesus being the son. And I was given three words. Um, one was uh, righteous. Another was um, justice and another was meek. And Father had me look up those words. And after each word, the definition, 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 um, he asked if I was that. And then shortly after that, he gave me Deuteronomy 6 and 4, which speaking that he is one. Um, and that after me, like I said, being on a fast, which I had set out to be on the fast seven days, but he gave me the revelation on the second day. Okay. Also, um, this, uh, name surfaced within my spiritual rim named Frenetta. Um, and I was later go on YouTube. And when I went on YouTube, um, Frenetta feel came up with the uh, her song only one and that was more confirmation so family you know um you know not one that I follow a crowd just because I'm one that you know in so many ways a loner but um I you know want to do what I'm led to do far as not to be in any um, path or lead way, not leading me in the right direction to seek the most high for myself. And I believe that's what he wants from all of us individually.
collectively as a nation, that's how we become in so many ways um, as that is. But so much people are waiting for us to be a nation in that light to say, oh, okay, you all a nation for you to get that relationship. No, it starts now. Wherever you at, you know, just understand that we all should be seeking Yah for ourselves. Crying out to him, understanding his ways and knowing that, you know, our redemption is near. So so definitely we should be mindful that um, the main reason why we were dispersed is because we were worshiping other gods, idolizing other gods. We, as the most high chosen people, must seek for this truth. It's the murky, muddy water. Even though it may appear that everything is what it is, because, you know, we have studied, that's what we believe that is accurate. But everyone who have read the Bible, and even if you consider yourself as scholars, you know that there's contradictions. You know that there are things in the Bible that make you go, hmm. So when you stay in that lineup and not seeking, yeah, because see, this is the ultimate to get back to him. Leading you back to Yah is the key. Please understand, it's not that we never had messiahs that were melanated. Not saying that we will not have one in this captivity. But the one that we are and have been upholding is the one they gave us which was and is their God. Please take a moment to reflect. They gave us that. Even, you know, you say, well, I have separated that and I know our Messiah is different from what they have, but you kept the same scriptures. The same motives of the people that enslaved us and took our writings. We're so busy looking for and awaiting that storyline that we are not seeking Yah in this storyline to understand what it is. When we woke up, we should have seeked him according to Deuteronomy 6, the 4, I'm sorry, 28 and 64, where he said that we would serve other gods. He said it would be a curse. So brothers and sisters, when did you stop serving other gods when you woke up to this truth? Well, actually, factually, the mass of our people haven't because you still got the same storyline using the same scriptures of what was given to us. So we need to get through the what muddy, murky water to get back to Yah. We must. All right, fam. Shalom.